If you're just a fan of the Premier League, then the only thing you recall about the name Juan Sebastian Veron is that he is one of the biggest flops in the league history. He didn't just fail at one club, he failed at two. But if you are a fan of Italian football in the late 90s or Argentinian football in the mid 2000s, then you might believe that Veron is one of the most underrated players of his generation. So was Veron a fraud or a good footballer? Well, that's why I'm here to answer the question, just how good was Juan Sebastian Veron? It's Juan Seba Veron. It's a belter. Veron began his professional career with his hometown club, Estudiantes, a club where his father Ramon was a legend, so a lot was expected from Veron. But his start there did not go as planned, as in his first season as a professional footballer, Estudiantes suffered relegation. But that relegation was not on Veron, as at the time he was only 18 years old. In the second tier, Veron was given a chance to flourish. He was given regular minutes and Veron repaid the trust. He starred as Estudiantes gained promotion to the first tier at their very first go. These performances prompted Diego Maradona's Boca Jr. to make an offer for him, an offer that Veron jumped on. An opportunity to play at Boca Jr., one of the biggest clubs in Argentinian football, along with Diego Maradona, one of the greatest players to have ever lived. So can you blame Veron for making that decision? It was here at Boca Juniors that the hype around Veron just got real. Diego Maradona endorsed him. His physicality combined with his strong personality meant that there was a star in the making here. So it came as no surprise when just six months later, Sven Goran Eriksson gave Veron an opportunity to come and play in Italy. Veron signed with Sampdoria. He played for them for two seasons and he appeared 61 times for them in the league. Now Sampdoria weren't seen as a threat to the league title, but the fact that Veron spearheaded them into European spots, well that was quite an achievement. In the modern era, that would be equivalent to Jack Grealish helping Aston Villa finish in European spots. It's not a crazy achievement, but it's still a big achievement. In 97, Parma called. That Parma side had Buffon in goal, Cannavaro in midfield, Crespo leading the line and Veron dominating the midfield. And it was here at Parma where Veron won his first major honour. Well, honours as he won two titles the Coppa Italia and the UEFA Super Cup. His influence in Italy was growing, so it came as a surprise to nobody when the following season, Lazio started their reckless spending and the first player that they went for was Veron. He was at Lazio for two seasons. It was here where he won his first league title, another Coppa Italia and a couple of Super Cups. It was a time where Italy was home to all of the biggest superstars, Totti, Del Piero, Ronaldo, but it was Veron's star that was shining the brightest. It's Juan Seba Veron. It's a belter. In 2001, Manchester United broke the British record transfer fee as they paid £28.1 million for Veron, a huge transfer fee and it was well deserved. Veron was very, very good. Him and the Premier League looked like a mass made in heaven. Veron was strong, his fitness was at a very high level and he was technically very sound. The move didn't look risky at all, so it came as a surprise to nobody that he flopped. Sir Alex Ferguson was full of praises about Veron, but he had no plan as to how to integrate him into his setup. At the time, Manchester United's midfield had Roy Keane and Paul Scholes. Those two had a perfect balance and every time Veron was pushed in, it would completely disrupt the flow. If he would play in an attacking role, he wasn't deemed fast enough. If he was told to play in a much deeper role as a 6, that role was unnatural to him and that didn't work either. Because of this situation, Nicky but a player who had previously claimed that after seeing Veron in training, he did not expect himself to get much minutes, ended up playing more games in the Argentine. Another disappointing season at Old Trafford followed and Veron was not happy with the lack of his minutes. So in 2003, 
he moved on from Manchester United and joined their league rivals Chelsea for £15 million. Veron was one of the first players that Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich signed. At Chelsea, Veron had a chance to have a fresh start in the Premier League, but he failed here as well. At Chelsea, he did not have a systematic problem like at Manchester United, but here, he was injured all of the time. In his one and only season at Stamford Bridge, Veron featured only 15 times and in the subsequent summer transfer window, he was then sent out on loan to Inter Milan where he spent the next two seasons. At Inter Milan, Veron won two more Coppa Italias, but he failed to hit the highs of his Lazio days. Veron was now on the verge of being lost in the abyss, so in order to avoid this, he went back to where it all began for him, Estudiantes. It's Juan Seba Veron. It's a belter. Veron's return back home was seen as something that could spark something special. At the time, Estudiantes had a bunch of younger players and they lacked experience. They also had a little known manager in his infancy in Diego Simeone. In his first season back at Estudiantes, Veron won the domestic league title. Over the next seven years, Veron became an icon of the football club. He went to City Hall and raised his voice to improve the infrastructure of the stadium. He also gave various donations to help improve training facilities and then at the ripe old age of 34, he turned back the time as Estudiantes won the Copa Libertadores, their first in nearly 40 years. Veron then won another league title, announced his retirement and then came back at the age of 40 just to play in the Copa Libertadores. It's Juan Seba Veron. It's a if you look at Veron's career as a whole, you can make a case that it was extremely underwhelming. Veron did not stay anywhere to build a legacy and his time in England, well that was just disappointing. Whether it was due to Fergie's lack of man management or his rough luck with injuries, it didn't matter, he flopped in England. So for a player who had the ability to be remembered for ages and ages, to just be remembered as a legend at Estudiantes, it is still a good feat but he was destined for way more. So yeah, this was a video on just how good was Juan Sebastian Veron. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe, have a good day and I will see you soon.